Do you ever catch yourself using the phrase, I'm just not good at that? Spartans, welcome back to another episode of the Spartan Up Podcast. I'm your host of Spartan Way, Zach Evnesh. I'm here with our new friend, Gabe Dean, Cornell wrestling coach, legendary Cornell wrestler, four-time All-American, two-time national champ. This guy's a beast, and he's going to be joining the Spartan Up Podcast family with his own show. So glad to have you here, Dean. It's great to be here. We're excited. So in this episode, we're talking about something that I'm sure you've experienced uh, as an athlete, as a coach, and that's negative self-talk. And I've seen it a lot and heard it a lot as a coach, not just from working with athletes, but working with entrepreneurs. They use phrases like, I'm just not good at that. So an athlete might say, I've never been, I'm, not, I'm just not strong or I'm just not coordinated. An entrepreneur might say, I don't like speaking in front of people. I'm not a good public speaker. So what has been your experience when an athlete says to you, I'm just not good at X, Y, Z, or I don't do that. How do we get them to move out of that self-talk and basically move forward to advance and conquer and get more success? Well, it's human nature to gravitate towards the things that you are really good at because it makes you feel good. It's, it hits that dopamine, dopamine in your system. Yep. Um, but really, the, the, the issue is not it's not the fact like you, I'm just not good at that. You're not addressing the issue. You're, the real issue is the why. Why are you not good at that? And that's basically because you just don't want to put the effort in to be good at it. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you talk about failure and all these kind of things that negative, these negative connotations that come with the term failure and not being good at something and, you know, you know, embarrassment from not being good at that thing. But failure is a positive thing. I want failure to be prevalent, not in just my life, but everybody that I love and care about, my athletes, I want them to fail because failure is what sparks change. Yes. So why are you not good at that? It's because you're too scared to put yourself in that situation. And that's, and that's really what it comes down to, that purpose and drive that pushes you through that. It's an, I look at it also in the same way where this is an opportunity and maybe you just didn't have the guidance to get good at something or you just never practiced it enough. For example, when an athlete will say to me, I'm just not strong, I'll say, well, how many push-ups do you do a day? Uh, only when I'm here. Well, if you really want to get strong, you have to get obsessed about it. You got to do, I say, you got to eat your push-ups for breakfast. Do push-ups in the morning. Do push-ups after school. Do push-ups at night. So now you're eating push-ups for snack time after school, push-ups for dessert. But it's the practice and getting the opportunity to do it. What about with, you know, as, as an athlete, we could take lessons from athletics, take it and, and apply it to life, as you know. How long does it take for somebody to kind of turn the corner now that they start trying to get good at something well it it takes a while and that's why and that's why people don't want to do it because it's not something that happens overnight overnight it it takes trial and error and over and over and over again and you're still going to fail at it even when you're a pro you still fail at the things that you're good at true but those guys continue to get better the ones that come back make adjustments and stay disciplined to the things that they can control and that's what those are the guys that are successful you're right we talk a lot about the compounding effect where You do a little bit every day, or you do a lot of it every day, and it adds up. So when you're saying, hey, it takes a while to get better at something, to go from, you know, below average to just get to average, you're making progress. So if I want to get great at push-ups, it's not going to happen in a week, right? It's going to take time. And in your space in wrestling, and now you're working with probably guys in all combat sports, if they struggle on takedowns, it's like, listen, you're going to have to do this a thousand times a day. I know when I was a kid, I went to a John Smith intensive wrestling camp. All we did was a high crotch shot, low single, and everybody had uh, stained uh, shirts from bloody collarbones. But I know from the thousands of reps we did every day, it was like, okay, that's that's what it took. It took thousands of reps day after day, year after year. It's the compounding effect. Anything that I've done in my life that I've ended up, you know, being successful at, I've had to put a goal or a standard on, you know, like I've had to, uh, you know, stamp that with a goal or standard. So then I know no matter what, I'm still working towards that. I'm holding myself to that standard. I always say don't live to expectations, live to a standard, because when you live to that standard, no matter what happens along your journey to that goal, it 
you know, you'll come through and you'll push through too. Yes. You will have you will have the lessons and you will gain from that. So we've given you a lot of gems in this Spartan Way episode, and we always give an action at the end of Spartan Way. So here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do today. Sign up for something. Write the check. Whatever that thing is that you're afraid of or you're talking about that you're not good at, well, you're not good at it because you haven't done the work. So write the check, sign up for something today or tonight, and then let us know. Let us know on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, tell us what you signed up for and how you're taking action. And we'll see you guys next time on Spartan Up Podcast. You can listen to us anywhere podcasts are found almost every day of the week. Talk to you soon. Yeah.